Hey, what's going on guys? Just got out here to the range and uh, this is actually a video response to my buddy Pete at Impact Shooting from South Africa. He helps run the NRL there. He's also working with MDT and doing a Shoot Better series. So, what exactly is this drill? Well, the drill for today is really simple. The drill is all about putting rounds on target as quickly as possible. As part of his series, he talked about being able to stand with port arms, meaning holding your rifle and your rear support, getting down into the prone position and getting a shot on target and uh, doing it in under 10 seconds. So that's what I'm here to do, see if I can do it. And uh, Pete was able to get up to three shots off on target in under 10 seconds, which is really impressive. I'm gonna see if I can at least get one, see how it goes. You can see my target back here. It's actually a swinger target. I'm at like 50 or 60 yards. And uh, I think my target's like an inch and a half, maybe two inches. It's fairly, fairly large, but I'm also gonna be rushing. So we'll see what we can do. And uh, I've also got my buddy Corbin out here. Howdy, howdy. Just happened to bump into him out of the range. And uh, we're going to have some fun shooting 22s. Let's get to it. Suit, are you ready? Yep. Stand by. Go. There we go. I think this is going to be a little too easy. We may have to move the target backward a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what you can do, man. Maybe get full. <laughs> All right, shooter, are you ready? Yep. Stand by. Begin. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> the last one got me. It's possible, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is possible. Like I'm saying, I think we need to back this target up a little bit. All right, Corbin just burned that down. I was able to get three shots off in 10 seconds. Honestly, if Pete is struggling to get more than three off, I know that it's a little too easy for what we're doing. So we just moved our target back. Now it's off in the weeds up here and we're at 80 yards instead of what we were at, which was 50. So we'll see if this makes a difference and we'll keep going. Now right, we got Corbin with his Voodoo V22. Uh, which model you got on that thing? Um, I got the Ridgeback stock with a Vortex Rifle Gen 2 in Mills. Sick. With the Calvin Elite Trigger. Nice. Very nice. All right, man. Let's see you burn it down again. So we're going for the small target on top. 80 yards. Shooter ready? Yep. Stand by. Begin. Nice. <laughs> I missed that one, didn't I? No, I heard I heard something come back on it. So I think you got three. You're just barely too slow for four. Yeah. You want to try it one more time? Yeah. Well, I right. popped down. And <laughs> I'm not gonna run this bag. Okay. Now Corbin believes he'll be faster without his rear bag. Will he be stable enough to continue getting hits? So that's the question. So shooter, are you ready? Yep. Stand by. Begin. Ah, that's it. What did something go out wrong with your rifle? Oh, I didn't get chambered. Oh, so you got caught. Bummer. Oh. Begin. Nicely done. So looking at the timer here. At five seconds is when you got your first shot off. So for you to jump down, get a shot on target, takes you five seconds. Pretty good, man. Be quick. <laughs> Stand by. Begin. Um. Right, had a light strike on that one. So that's twice. It felt like a good trigger press. We can call it a hit. <laughs> now something I'm trying to do while I'm out here is I'm trying to stay calm and smooth as I get down on target. Um, just trying to not rush myself too bad. So keeping that in mind as I'm going. 
but uh, I keep having light strike issues right now, so got to figure that one out. All right, Corbin, back for revenge at 80 yards. Yep. So you're going for four. Yep. Smooth as fast, man. Shooter ready? Yep. Stand by. Begin. So on that one, you got your first shot off about one to a half second faster on your first one. Yeah. I think you were just waiting on that target to swing back, right? Yeah, and then that last one I got through the grass cut. Uh, good shooting though, dude. Three, two, one. That's too much fun. We could do we need to get spinning. <laughs> Alright, we can actually go change it. Alright, we got Corbin. We adjusted the weights on the spinner. Now it should actually spin all the way around uh, if you hit it correctly. So, Corbin, are you ready? Yep. Go ahead, man. Nice. Uh-oh. Oh, not bad though. You got it dang close. There's a couple really good time shots in there. Let's see if I can get it down with my little 22. All right, guys, this is the rifle that I was using in this video. It is my Tika T1X, which is their 22 LR rifle. So Anarchy Outdoors actually offers quite a few different aftermarket parts for these, and they just came out with their swept back bolt handle. My T3X, I'm running the Sphere, and so I got the Sphere again for my T1X. Um, it's sitting in a modular driven technologies LSS RF, which is the rimfire from MDT. Uh, I have an affiliate link for Anarchy Outdoors. They sell all sorts of stuff like scopes, chassis, competitive shooting bags, all sorts of really cool stuff, as well as bolt knobs for the Ruger rifles, uh, Tika rifles, and then a few others as well. Um, they also sell these little mag releases for the T1X. It's a little 3D printed part, super affordable, and it just gives you a lot more area to hit that release to get your mag out. Um, it is compatible with the MDT chassis, as it turns out. Um, so you can check out all these parts through that affiliate link. They are so, also an MDT dealer, so be sure to check them out. Um, Arcan Optics, I have an affiliate link for them as well. If you guys pick one up, if you use code WDS, uh, it helps, helps my channel out. And you get free shipping, as well as entered in for a free scope once a month. So hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll tell you what, guys, I had a ton of fun today. Anytime I'm playing with my 22 is a really good time. Uh, again, this video was all as a video response to my buddy Pete at Impact Shooting. Um, he does a really phenomenal job, super professional videos. If you like what I do, I'm pretty sure you'll like what Pete's doing over there. He does a fantastic job and uh, really kicks ass. He's a really good shooter too, and uh, I'm always learning from him. So if you guys want to become a better shooter, go check out Pete's channel, Impact Shooting, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.